within the city. We are here and we are excited about today. As you already know, today is what the world would say Easter Sunday, but we as Christians, we say Resurrection Sunday. And this is our resurrection service. We're doing it virtually online. And I thank God for modern technology. Amen. And I thank God most for you being with us today. So I need you to do something for me. If you could do this for me this morning, if you can hit that share button, let's share it and let's spread the word of God. Amen. So we are here and we just want to be a blessing, but we want you to worship with us. Amen. So I'm going to move out of the way and I'm going to call up our praise and worship leader. And that's none other than Minister Edward. And he's going to come forth and he wants you not only to watch the worship, but right where you are, begin to worship God. Lift up your hands and, and to think about it, you don't have to worry about anybody watching you. Just be free in your worship. Amen. So before we go any further, I'm going to bring forth Minister Edward Allen as he go before you in praise and worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, right where you are, in your living rooms or in your house, come on, just lift up your voice and lift up your hands right now as we enter into the gates of as we enter into the gates of heaven, Lord God, and have it our worship right where we are, Lord God. But you alone are worthy to be praised. But you alone are worthy to be praised. But you alone are worthy to be lifted up. How many know that when we call on the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. So we call on the name of Jesus at this moment. Somebody call the name of Jesus. Come on, we call on that great name. We call on that saving name. We call on that redeeming name. The name that's above all name. The name got no other, Lord God. So we call on your name. Somebody call on your name. must bow at the name of Jesus and every fear must bow at the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Call the name of Jesus. He is our healer. So we call the name of Jesus. See, he is our provider. So we call the name of Jesus. Say he is our protector. And we call the name of Jesus. He is our deliverer. Oh.
morning. Let somebody desperate cry this morning. Oh, 
Today it's not business as usual. Amen. It's not business as usual. Uh, our lives have been impacted uh, uh, by this coronavirus pandemic. Mm -hmm. yes. and, and, and it's now, and it's important, it's important now, now more than ever, for believers to stand as believers. Amen. My, 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 my. It's, it's important for believers to stand as believers. See, at this point, we need to know that we're covered by the blood. Say, covered by the blood. Covered by the blood. Amen. You need to know that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Say, no weapon formed shall prosper. No, no weapon, weapon formed form shall, shall prosper. To know that, that when you pray over your food, that it's safe to eat. To know that when you pray, God hears and will answer your call. Amen? Amen. So this morning, we, we celebrate a God that is not dead. He's He's not in the least yes. bit dead, family. Yes. He's a risen king yes. who conquered death yes. and is very much alive. Amen. Tell your neighbor, he's real. He is real. And he's alive. And he's, he's alive. alive. Amen. 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 Today I, I, I remind you of a of a question that the angels that's around uh, 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 God, they asked, they said, what is man that thou art mindful of them? What is man that you keep thinking of them? You, you created everything with your word. But we notice that there's just this one part of your creation that, 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 that commands your affection. Do you know that you command God's affection? Not only do you command God's affection, but you command God's attention. Yes. Amen? And I'm, 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 I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. So today as we celebrate resurrection, uh, 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 the resurrection of Christ, we, we must also reflect on, on the path and understand the why. Mm, the why. Right. Amen? That's right. That's right. Yes. He was beaten. Mm. He was bruised. Mm. Mm. 
he was he crucified. He was crucified. He died, but he rose again. Yeah. Say rose again. Rose, rose again. again. Amen. And he rose with all power. He rose with, with all power. This morning, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about the word to, this morning. You see, Jesus willingly, he willingly laid down his life. That's it. For you. Yeah. He knew the path to the cross. As a matter of fact, he tried to prepare his disciples for what was going to happen to him. And we're going to take a look at that in Matthew, the 16th chapter and the 21st through the 23rd verse, Matthew 21, Matthew 16, verse 21, and I hope you got it, amen. In the interest of time, I really want to move because we want to, we want to have communion today, okay? Is that okay with you? Amen. We want to have communion, so make certain that you uh, get yourself some, some, some weight, uh, the, 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 some crackers, some bread, some juice, and at the end of my message, we're going to have communion. Amen. 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 I'll give you a chance to get it also. But Matthew, the 16th chapter and the, the 21st verse, it says that from that time, say that time, that, that time. time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem, notice this, must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and the chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised the third day. So we said, it says, from that time. What time? What time? Well, just above that, uh, Jesus had asked his disciples, they, who, who do you say that I am? Mm. In other words, who am I to you? Mm. So you have to know who Christ yes. is to you, who yes. God is to you. Yes. I think we all are in a place now where, where it's so important now more than ever that you know him. Yes. That you have a relationship with him. Yes. So in Matthew 16, 16, Peter answered, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. In some versions, it says Messiah. You are the Messiah. In essence, he's revealing that, that, that Jesus was both Lord and Christ. <laughs> Lord and the second part of the Trinity. No, I recognize you as God. I see that there's something different about you. Jesus acknowledges his answer was correct and, and, and says that flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. But my Father, who is in heaven, and in verse 20, Matthew 16, 20, uh, Jesus gave his disciples strict orders that they should not tell anyone because he, he, had, a, he had a mission to fulfill. He had somewhere to eat some things that he had to do. Amen? Amen. But now, Jesus, knowing his mission, knowing that he had somewhere he needed to go, but Peter loved him. There's another disciple that, in, in, in John, as a matter of fact, those of you all that read the, 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 the account of the crucifixion in the book of John, you'll notice that, Jesus, that John always calls himself the disciple that Jesus loved. Yes. Amen? Amen. But, but right now, we know that Peter... That Peter was with him everywhere. Peter, uh, 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 Peter, you know, it, it, it's so amazing. We got to understand where Peter came from. The other disciples didn't have the testimony that Peter had. That's right. God took Peter from the gutter, from, yes. from, the, from, the, yes. from, from, from the bottom, from the bottom. And God elevated him. I don't know about you. I don't know if God has taken some of you all from the, God, I, he, he, he took me out of the dung, you all. Yes. Out of the dung hill. And I thank God that he has saved me. Yes. But Peter loved him, and, and Peter took him aside, and Peter began to rebuke him. And Peter said, far be it from you, Lord, uh, this shall not happen to you. You know, when Peter hear what's going to happen, Peter understood what it means to be crucified, what it means to be beaten. Right. Peter was like, no, I don't want that to happen to my, my Lord. Right. And so the very same Peter <laughs> that had the revelation that you are the Christ my God. is the very same Peter that Jesus responded to, and Jesus says, Get thee behind me, mm. Satan. You are an offense to me. Mm. You are not mindful of the things of God, but the things of man. See, you want to keep me. And, and, and there are times God doesn't want to just keep us to just for our family. That's why you know, being by four and no it. more. That's there it. are times God wants to send you. God wants to use you. Yes. God wants to do things in your life. Yes. It says, but uh, God wanted God really wanted to, 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 to do something 
It says, you're not mindful of the things of God. What does that mean? Mindful of the things of God. Mindful of the things of God. See, God is concerned about you. Yes. yes. God is concerned about you. And, and God always has a plan, family. He always has a plan. And, and see, God was concerned about humanity. Humanity was headed to hell in a, in a basket. That's right. And there was nothing mm. they can do about That's it. That's right. Mm -hmm. Romans, the fifth chapter and the 19th verse. It tells us that, that by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. Yes. For all have sinned <laughs> and come short of the glory of God, right? And it says that the penalty for sin was death. So when we ask why crucifixion, the answer is simple. Love. My God. Ooh. My mom. He loved My you. God. Wow. He loved you. He loved you that much. In Romans, the fifth chapter and the eighth verse, it, it says, but God commended or demonstrate his love toward us that while we were yet sinners, while we were yet unworthy, Huh? Christ died for us. Yes. Yes. Huh? Romans, the, 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 the fifth chapter, the sixth verse, it says, For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. In the NLT it says, When we were utterly the helpless, Christ came yes. at just the right time and died for sinners. Amen. Verse 7 says, For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet peradventure for a good man would one, would some Dang. even he dare to die. Mm -hmm. The NLT says that most people would not be willing to die for, a, for an upright person. So God's plan was to save you. Point to yourself, say, God's plan God's was plan. to save me. Was to save see, me. God's plan was to deliver us from, from sin and death. God's plan was that we would live a, a victorious life. God's plan was that we would have life and, and life more abundantly. Abundantly, but at what expense? That's right. But at whose expense? Yes. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. See, your salvation was very costly. Yes. So costly that you couldn't afford it. Yes. You could have all the money in the world, all yes. the gold in the world, all the silver in the world, all the treasures in the world, and you still could not buy. That's it. Your That's salvation. Right. That's it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. See, God had a plan. Yes. yes. Say, but God. But God. God. Yeah, but God had a plan. And his plan was, re his re plan required the ultimate payment, a one-time payment. My God. Amen. Mm. And it would cost him the ultimate price. My God. Jesus. His My only mind. begotten son. Yes. Jesus. Say amen. 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 His, only, his only, his only begotten son. Yes. Some of you all know that I have one son, and, and, and I don't think, I know that. I know that I would not sacrifice it for you. I love you, but I would not sacrifice it for you. Amen? Amen. But watch this now. What, what's the price that Jesus pays? Jesus, Jesus was, he took, he took it all upon him. In Matthew, the 8th chapter and the 17th verse, it says that he took our infirmities and bared or carried our diseases. And the next one that I love is, man, is Isaiah 53 verses Oh, 3 and 4. Isaiah 53 verses 3 and 4. It says, He was despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from yes, him. Yes. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Uh, we didn't think anything highly of him, family. Right. Uh, but surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yes. we esteemed him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. Mm. Before he, you know, before uh, before he was he was crucified, Jesus had to suffer many, 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 many things. Jesus suffered many things at the hand of man, and 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 and, and at the hand of man that the man, the very man that he came to save, Ooh, my God. he was beaten. Beyond recognition. My, my. Oh my God, yes. God, my Jesus. God, my Beyond God. Beyond recognition. Yes. You know, my God. It, my God. Jesus. The oh, man can think God. of evil that they do upon other yeah. men. Yeah, yeah. They think of much evil that they can do. Ooh. 
you know, it's it's it these time that we in this during this pandemic that we're getting a chance to see something as simple as as how we can show love to others, how we can embrace each other, how we can show appreciation to each yes. other. Like our healthcare workers, like our delivery workers, like the people that stock the restock in the stores. We can show our appreciation. We can do simple, simple little things mm -hmm. to let them know that we're appreciated. Yeah. But why does it take a pandemic? My God. Oh my God. For us to be able to stop. Mm. I remember there was something that my mother used to do, and I couldn't understand it when I was younger. And back in the day, we we they, they used to collect our garbage uh, behind our homes. And there was like a little small alleyway behind our, our home. And my mother, every Christmas, every Christmas, my mother had gifts for the for the garbage men mm. that collected our garbage. And this was just something that she wanted to do to say, I appreciate you. Can you be willing to pray? Take a few minutes to pray for those that, that that's that's being uh, that's being uh, of, of of assistance to you. Can you take a moment and and not not only because some of you all see I start off with prayer, but some of you all have the ability to do other things. And if you have the ability to do it, do do what's within your power to do. But those of you all that say, well, I can't do nothing. I'm at home. I don't have any resources. You have faith and you can pray. That's, that's it. Right. That's it. it. That's right. So man thought that 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 the thought was that 40 strikes would kill him. And so he was sentenced to 39 strikes. Jesus received 39. 39 strikes with the cat nine whip. My lord. A cat nine whip was a cruel, a very, very cruel contraption with nine leather straps. And each had pieces of metal in them. And it was intended to rip flesh my God. Oh, my God. of the victim. My God. You know, man's intent was to was to torture uh, Christ and and, and 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 spill his blood. Yes. But God's intent, see, God has a plan. But God's intent was that Jesus was that as Jesus was being whipped, his blood would be shed for you and I. And as a matter of fact, Jesus received a strike. For every major disease, every my major Lord. sickness, wow. every major my my. disease. Yes. My my. So who got the victory? Yes. yes. We're talking about when I say every major, uh, 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 every major disease, every major uh, issue. We're talking about addictions, tumors, yes. cancer, yes. stroke, wow. mental disorders, wow. aneurysms, blood issues, pneumonia, yes. diseases. Viruses, yes. skin disorders, yes. blood disorders. Yes. 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 yes, yes. You name it. You name it. It was covered by the blood. Yes. Glory be to God. Yes. Yes. Covered by the blood. Yes. Covered by the blood. Yes. Covered by the blood. Yes. It was covered by the blood. See, this morning you gotta know that it was covered by the blood. And now we move on to, to, to Isaiah 53 5. Isaiah 53 5 says, but he was wounded. My God. For our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes you are healed. Yes, yes, yes. By his stripes, yes, you are healed. Yes. By his stripes, yes. This morning, if you're dealing with any 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 disease, it's covered by the blood. If you're dealing with any addictions, it's covered by yes. the blood. Family, there are times that we see people that have addictions and we don't know that that's a disease. That's a disease. And it's covered by the blood. Yes. It's covered by the blood. Yes. This morning, there might be some of you all that, that's dealing with the COVID-19 uh, 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 virus. And I want you to know that, that also the blood covers that. Yes. And because it's covered by the blood, you have every blood or right yes. to declare Sorry. that by his stripes, you are healed. Yesterday I got a phone call from my uncle, and I know he's watching right now. Yes. I didn't even know that he watches us. My uncle, several weeks ago, he tested positive, and he was hospitalized. He was quarantined for almost two weeks, and he called me to testify of God's goodness. Yes. He called me yes. to tell me yes. how when he called on the name of the Lord, oh my God, when my he God. couldn't breathe, Wow. When his fever had spiked late at night, yes. 
when he was so weak that he couldn't call nobody. My God, my God. All he could my think God. was Jesus. Yes. Jesus. And he told me, he said, God touched him. And God healed him. Yes. And he's alive today. Yes. Yes. And he called me to testify. He called me to testify yes. that God is able. Yes. That God is faithful. Yes. That the blood of Jesus yes. is more powerful yes. than this COVID-19 yes. virus. Yes. This COVID-19 is not a God. Yes. It's not a God. Yes. I'm here to testify to somebody yes. that God is able. Yes. God is able to do yes. So after being beaten all night long, Jesus was, was crucified. And, and the Romans, they developed ways of, of really, really torturing people. Really torturing uh, people. But I want to, in the interest of time, I want to move on to John, the 19th chapter. The 19th chapter. And the 17th verse. And it reads, and he bearing his cross. Isn't that so terrible? They beat the man all night long. Jesus. And then the next thing, he has to carry his cross. He, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the place of skull, which is called in the Hebrew, Golgotha. In some versions, it's Calvary, you all. Calvary, and that's why you hear that name, that word in, in some songs. Where they crucified him and two others, one on each side, and Jesus in the center. Now Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross. And the writing was, Jesus of Nazareth, King, King. of the Jews. Wow. Uh. The next verse. Then many of the Jews read the title, for the place where Jesus was crucified was near a city. And it was written in Hebrew, in Greek, and Latin. See, the, the intent was that it would be read by all that, that passed by. The Jews who could read Hebrew, the Romans who could read Latin, the Hellenists was anyone who could read Greek. But you know what was so interesting was that they didn't know that was part of God's plan. Yes. Because he was the king of the Jews, but not just of the Jews, but is he the king of your heart? Yes. yes. Is he the king over your life? Yes. Huh? yes. Yes. All you have to do is just invite him in. Yes. yes. The, the crucifixion of Christ was, was so significant. It was so significant that no matter where you were on this earth, that there was something that marked the crucifixion That's of Christ. It. That's it. And you, if you were alive, you could not say, oh, I didn't know. Right. There are some things that may happen in England, and right now we don't know. Right. Just like when this pandemic started in China, and we didn't know. But the crucifixion of, of Jesus, it, it, there were four events that marked the crucifixion of Jesus. Go ahead, go ahead. There was darkness, yes. and I'm, I'm coming from Matthew, the 27th chapter, starting at the 45th verse, Matthew 27, 45. There was darkness from noon until 3 p.m. Uh, wow, wow. The uh. curtain in the sanctuary. Mama. of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And if you weren't there, there was a there was an earthquake. The earthquake and yeah. rocks. Yeah. Rocks yeah. split. Yeah. Tombs open. Yes. Not tombs there. I tombs know. everywhere. Yes. Tombs open. Yes. Huh? You know, at, at most funeral processions and and, and and I thank God for this year because uh, I, I shared with you all how uh, many times I uh, last during 2019 was a year that I did many, many, many funerals. But many times when as pastors, when they're going in during the procession, there's something that they say when uh, and they recite something. When Mary, Mary accused Jesus, Mary said, Jesus, if you had gotten here earlier, my 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 my, my brother Lazarus wouldn't have died. And so Jesus accused them of, of getting there late. And in John the eleventh chapter, the twenty-fifth verse. Jesus said unto her, I am. Hmm. I am the resurrection My God. and the life. My God. Yes. He that believeth on me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Hmm. At the end of the next verse, he says, do you believe this? And so this morning, I want to ask you, do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe today? Amen? Amen. And I want to just end it with, the resurrection. I'm going to go to Matthew 28. I'm going to read verses 1 through 8. And I'm going to do this real quick. 
early on Sunday morning, as the day, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Suddenly there was a great earthquake. Watch this now. This is another earthquake. For an angel of the Lord had came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. His face shone like lightning, and his clothing was as white as snow. That's what God wants to do in our lives. He wants to make us white as snow. The guards shook with fear, and when they saw him, they fell into a dead faint. Then the angel spoke to the women. Don't be afraid, he said. I know you're looking for Jesus. God always knows what we're looking for. God always knows our need. And it says that, I know you're looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He is risen from the dead, My just God. as he said that it could happen. Come and see where the body was laid. The angel told them to go and go and tell the other disciples and they ran and, and they ran with excitement. And this morning the message is he is alive. The message is that he's alive. The message is that he is alive. As a matter of fact, the Bible goes on and even tell us that after the resurrection, you know the fourth point that I said earlier, the four things was the tombs open, you know, yes. tombs open. Well, after the resurrection, you know what happened? After the people that were in the tombs came out. Yes! The people wow. that were in the tomb came out. Yes! yes. Because Jesus had won the victory. Amen. Jesus had won the victory. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm here to declare to somebody today that the very same power that raised Jesus, Jesus from the dead, dead it's still in us. Yes. It's still alive. Yes. It's still available to yes. you. Yes. People of God, just know that it's in you. Yes. Somehow God was able to, to, to shrink it down and, and put it deep down on the inside of you. I love the song, the, the blood, the, the blood that, that Jesus shed for me way yes. back on, yes. on Calvary. The blood yes. that gives me strength. My God. From day to day, it will never, never lose its power. Yes. It will never, 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 never. It, it, it reaches from the highest mountain yes. and it flows yes. to the lowest valley. Yes. That blood yes. that gives me strength from day to day, it will never, it will never, never. it will never, never, never lose its power. Yes. This Thank morning, you, I'm excited about the blood. I'm excited that we read, we serve yes, a risen yes. God. Our God is alive. Oh God, oh God. But this morning, I want you to know that the very same power, the, the very same power that's it, that's it. that rose Jesus from the dead, yes. it bound. It can be yours. Yes. For those of you all that have accepted it, for those of you all that said, yes, yeah, he's my Lord, he's my King, he's my risen Savior. Oh my God, my he sits God. on the throne of my life. Yes. You all know what I'm talking about. But I want you all to know that those of you all that don't know him, that, yeah. that don't know him like that, that never accepted him into your life, that somehow knew him but you walked away from him. Yes, yes. Today I want you to know that, that he came to die for you. Yes, he did. He came to die for you. Those of you all that's, that, that's going through sickness and, and, and some of us, we've had family members that's dealing with issues. I want you to know that, that you, we can pray for them. We're going we're gonna to pray right now. We're going to close out in prayer. But I also want to give you an opportunity to accept Christ into your life. If you've never prayed the prayer of salvation, it's an easy prayer. All it takes is that you accepted Christ into your, into your heart. You believe it with your heart that Jesus raised him from the dead. And the Bible says that you that if you say that, you can, you can be saved. All it takes is you confessing with your mouth and believing in your heart that God raised them from the dead. Yes, yes, and it's yes. as simple as that. When you when you do that, when you pray that simple prayer, and I'm going to lead you in that prayer, immediately God comes into your life. Yes. He says, you belong to me. Yes. And he gives you the salvation packet. Yes. And you, immediately you get benefits. Immediately you get the benefits. Yes. What's your benefits? You get safety. Yes. You get soundness. Yes. You get preservation. preservation. You get healing yes. and you get deliverance. Yes. Let's pray that prayer. Thank Father God.
Father God, in the name of Jesus, in the name name of Jesus, Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for being so good to me. For being so good to me. I believe. I believe that you rose Jesus from the dead. That you rose Jesus from the dead. And he rose on the third day. And he rose on the third day. With all power. With all power. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Lord. And Savior. And Savior. I thank you I thank for saving me. For saving me. Amen. If you prayed that Amen. simple prayer, I want you to know that you just got saved. And I want you to know that that one of the things that you have to do, you have to do, you have to do, is you just have to know, even if you're quarantined, even if you're all by yourself, you just have to know that from this point on, you can call upon his name. And whatever you ask him, whatever you ask in his name, that he'll do it for you. I want to say a final prayer for our healthcare workers and and, and for those of us whose families have been impacted by by this virus. Let's pray. Father God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, Lord God. We praise you right now, oh God. Father God, at this point, most of us, oh God, we know somebody that's been affected. We know somebody, oh Lord God, that knows somebody that, oh Lord God, that have lost a loved one that's been affected in some way or another. And Lord God, we pray for the those that are in bereavement. We pray, yes. oh Lord God, for yes. them today, that you would yes. help them, yes. oh Lord God. There are some that passed, oh Lord God, in their family that was not, they were ne- not by their side. But Lord God, you were there. Yes. There are some that got infected, oh Lord God, and Father God, they went on to be with you, oh Lord God, and they transitioned. So Lord God, we pray for them, oh God, and their families. We pray right now, Lord God, for healthcare workers for delivery workers, for essential employees, Lord God. We pray, oh Lord God, for the people that's restocking the shelves, oh Lord God. We pray, oh Lord God, for for those that are in businesses that are still open, oh God. Mm. Father God, that you would protect them, that you would help them, that you would be with them. Sustain our healthcare workers. Sustain those that are in the hospitals. Lord God, even the doctors are now seeing, oh God, that, Father, that there is a protocol that they can do, but it has no guarantee that the person would live. So now we see doctors praying. So now we see doctors getting down on their knees. We see doctors calling on the name of the Lord. And so, oh God, we thank you for what you're going to do. Uphold them. Sustain them. Be with them. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God is so good. We told you earlier that we were going to have communion. And so at this time, I want you to, to go ahead on and get your uh, get your crackers, get your juice. Uh, those of you all that are at home, we're going to go ahead on and we're going to we're going to have communion this morning. So I want to call my lovely wife to come and, and assist me at this time. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. We want to give you a chance, as we said, to 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 just go ahead on and, and get your your communion elements. I think that this is a this is a, a wonderful opportunity for us to 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 honor God on this day to honor God. Yes. On this day to honor God, and I can think of a you know just because you're at home, that don't mean that you can't have communion. Right. Amen? Amen. So I pray that you're you got your crackers. If you don't have crackers, get a piece of bread, get a wafer, because this is an act of faith. Communion is an act of faith. So I want to just, and and get some juice. If you don't have juice, get water. It doesn't matter. Jesus turned water into wine. Amen. So by faith this morning, by faith, we're going to go ahead on and, and do this. But before we do this, the Bible tells us that, that wherefore whosoever shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. It says, but let a man examine himself. Yes. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, and I'm reading from 1 Corinthians eleven twenty nine. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. And then it says, for this cause, many are weak and are sick among you, 
and sleep. So let's just take a moment to ask for forgiveness as we go before the Lord. Father God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask for your forgiveness right now, O oh God. Father, we thank you, Lord God. Oh God, you are a God that sits high and you look low. And oh God, you see everything. We ask you to forgive us, oh Lord God, of Lord God, the things that we that we have done, oh Lord God, the things that we have thought that were not pleasing in your sight, Lord God. Lord God, even the things that came to our minds, oh Lord God, the things we acted upon. Father, we ask you to cleanse us. We ask you to have mercy upon us. And oh God, we thank you that we can always find mercy and grace when we come to your throne, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 And now we're going to go ahead on with our with communion. The Bible reads in 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, and the 23rd verse, it reads, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, he took bread, he told you, get your bread. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. You may eat. After the same manner also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Even those of you all that are at home, you may not have grape juice, you may have orange juice, whatever you use. By faith, this cup, say this cup. It this is cup. up. Amen. It's the New Testament in, 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 in the blood of Jesus. He says, This do. As often as you do it in remembrance of me, you may drink. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he come. And so that's why we do this in remembrance of him. Let us say the Lord's prayer. Father, our Father, which art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be, be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. come. Thy will be done. Thy will be done on earth, on earth, as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us this day our daily bread. Our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. And forgive, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not. And and lead, lead us, us not, not into temptation, into into temptation, but deliver us, but from, deliver us from, evil, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, for thine thine is the, kingdom, kingdom the power and the glory, the power and the glory, forever and ever, forever and ever. Amen and amen. 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 The name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We're gonna go forward with the service, but we can't leave this service without giving you an opportunity to give. We know that even giving is a form of worship, so we want to worship the Lord with our giving. In the Bible it says in Luke 6, 30, 38, it said, Give and it shall be given unto you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over, shall men give to your bosom. Amen? Amen. So we should never be afraid to give. Because God is able to keep us and to take care of us. Amen? Amen. 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 So if you would like to give, if you are New Life in the City members, your tithe come to this house. But if you are part of another ministry and you would just like to sow on the word that went forth, if you would just like to be a blessing, there are ways that you can give this morning. Amen? Amen. Amen. If you're giving by way of PayPal, you can do so by paypal.me slash 
NLTC. Again, okay. that's paypal.me slash NLTC. If you give it by way on your phone through Cash App, that is the dollar sign, New Life in the City. Again, dollar sign, New Life in the City. Also, if you're giving by way of Zelle, you can use the email address to give, and that is nltcministries at att.net. Again, that is nltcministries at att.net. I would also like you to invite you to visit our webpage. You can also give on our webpage. And if you go to newlifeinthecity.org, click on donations, scroll down, you will see the ways that you can also give on our webpage. Amen? Amen. Amen. I would like to thank you all for coming and worshiping with us today, for being a part of what New Life in the City is doing. We believe that what God says is always right. For in Psalms 33, 4, it says, remember, for the word of the Lord is right. Amen? Amen. So let's Amen. remember that God is always on your side. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come back and join us Tuesday night at 730 for Bible study. Yes. Amen. Amen. You'll be blessed.